Pig's Eye Perrant sold 160 acres of downtown St. Paul to Ben Gervais for $10. Uh, ben Gervais and his family have just an, an absolutely interesting history. But it goes, starts up in Canada and uh, it works its way down toward Snelling, St. Paul. Uh, and when Ben Gervais and his family were living in downtown St. Paul, uh, the Indians came to him. He got along very well with uh, the local Indian tribes of Dakota, who had a large uh, uh, city at uh, Kaposa. And they said, you know, we, we know a place north of here where we spend our summers, and I think that this is a place where you would really like to raise your family. And to, uh, uh. So Ben went out with them, uh, took his brother with them, and went out to little, what is now Little Canada. Uh, they came up Phelan Creek, through Spoon Lake into uh, what is now Gervais Lake. Uh, and there was a, at that time there was a creek and it was very heavily flowing. It no longer really exists in its original form. And so he looked around and said, I'd really like to settle here. So the following summer, and this was in 1844. So the following summer, he and his brother went out and they built a cabin for his family. Uh, he had five children at that time. Uh, and uh, uh, and a, a grist mill. Now the only grist mill in Minnesota at that time was at Fort Snelling, uh, and that was owned by the government. So he got the stones uh, from St. Louis and uh, uh, built a grist mill, and then that summer moved his family out there in 1844. And that was really the beginning of Little Canada. And of course he didn't do this, uh, as he was quickly followed by his brother, uh, other French families uh, uh, came out there. People from uh, uh, Manitoba from, uh, heard that he was there, and so he became a real magnet for the area. The grist mill ran until uh, about 1885, uh, and one of the stories that uh, is interesting about the grist mill, the initial set of stones that he used were soft. They weren't granite, they were soft. And so he was milling grain uh, uh, for the people in Stillwater, and what was happening is he'd get, he was getting a real fine sand in, in mixed in with the flour and the cornmeal. And of course, people weren't all that happy with it. <laughs> so he, uh, uh, from St. Louis, he got a new set of uh, uh, granite uh, uh, mills, uh, stones, and he took the old stones and threw them in the creek because he didn't want them anymore. Uh, Archie Ducharme, uh, came out and retrieved those stones, and for many years they were on the Ducharme farm in Little Canada. Uh, and now they're sitting outside the Little Canada Historical Society. Uh, and uh, so the, the mill lasted until 1885, uh, at which time, of course, there was a lot of competition, and uh, uh, the original uh, uh, Gervais house cabin lasted and burnt down in 1910. Uh, and it's, that area, of course, has now been reworked, and, uh, but that's, We've got an artist rendition of the grist mill, and that's, uh, that's our symbol of uh, Little Canada Historical Society. <laughs>